Hey, do you like my Fat Albert shirt? It's my dad's, and I had it for two years. I stole it from him. This was just that fly. But anyway, I'm going to go on topic here. You know, I like to interrupt those videos on my four-part video series because I like to stall them out, get new ideas. And I'm always thinking. And, you see, a lot of times people say that anarcho-capitalism, anarcho-capitalism, why do I keep pronouncing it like there's no T? Capital, capital. It's kind of stupid. Um, they say that it doesn't exist. That it'll just form into a new state due to constant consolidations that form due to capitalism. And I think that this is pretty silly. For starters, it takes more than consolidations and conquest to start a state. It takes ideology. People are exposed to stateless societies for so many years and they grow to find that a state is inefficient for their lifestyle. Not that it's immoral, that's inefficient. Like they have all these jobs that surround themselves in a method that can't be sustained by the state. They would be inefficient. That they wouldn't enforce this. I can put this into example with the lady who bought the sun from Spain, I believe, or Mexico, somewhere in South America. There was this lady who bought the sun, now she's taxing people, she's trying to tax people for using the resources of that sun she bought. And she named it up herself, so I think. She owns the sun, but she can't enforce it. Why can't she enforce it? Because ideologically, no one believes she owns a son. Even though theoretically she bought that like people buy stars. No one's going to accept any taxes from her. No lawyer's going to bother her with her crazy ass. No matter how much money she has. Because they'll probably run out of town. It just goes to say that Anarcho-capitalism won't, or at least if it does, it won't form a state. It will never form a state without ideology. The ideology will be hard to find if the future becomes less status. What will happen at worst, at worst, is a temporary oligarchy. But that oligarchy may only form as a result of a collapsed state. Second only to the glocracy. The way I see it, an oligarchy would be a condition where, politically speaking, <clears throat> that there's like a few people who they're not running a state, but there are a few people who are in power, and they have this institution that isn't really a, it's consolidated like a state, but it isn't structured like a state, it isn't structured like a country, it's more like a few niggas with guns. And that's what people say about capitalism, that's what people say about the state. But if I want to get into the difference, and I could, that'll take a three-part video. No, it'll just take a 15-minute video. Who knows? But to say the least, narco-capitalism, without ideology, can't make a state. In the initial fallout of the state, It'll form maybe an oligarchy, but that oligarchy is not the slap in the face of the stateless society, but rather in the face of the state. Because to blame the fault of the collapsed state on the people who endure stateless society 
It's like blaming the victim. Alright, this is my video. I hope you like it. I hope you want to fuck me. Because you know I want to fuck you too. And... It's a wrap, niggas.